Coastline Street in the west part of Calgary to Saddletown in the northeast part of Calgary. It was founded in 1985 and it is the second longest LRT in the city of Calgary. The Blue Line was originally ran from Whitehorn Station to 10th Street. Then the Blue Line was expanded to McKnight West Wind Station to the northeast and then again expanded to its current terminus at Saddletown Station. The Blue Line's expansion ended in 2012, which is not so long ago. By the time of recording this video, which is 2021, 20, part of the line finished in 2011. Like I said, it added six new stations to the west part of the city, but the city didn't care about that because it's it's not in the, it's not in the southwest. If you're not in the southwest of the city, the city won't care about you. That's the problem. Every part of the city has to face. Not in the southwest. Nope. Don't care. You we could kill us. What happens to you? But that's just my opinion. Tell me if you agree or disagree with my opinion of it in the comment below. The city of Calgary has plans to expand the blue line even further north. There would be four new stations, one at 88th Avenue, then another at Country Hills Boulevard, 28th Avenue Northeast, and one more at Stonegate. This is good, but I would like to see the blue line extended extended to Cross Iron Mills. For the south part of, of it, I would like to see expanded for the south part of it, there's no plan extension, which is kind of sad. I think the city should expand to 80, 85th Street Southeast or to Aspen Woods. The city of Calgary is wanting to create a train, a train from 88th Avenue Northeast to the airport, a, a train, a people mover. The city has three options for this. They could. Make a BRT, LRT, or an automated people mover. The city is probably going to go with the people mover instead of an LRT or B BRT because it's a shorter distance and it could carry more people in a shorter amount of time th than a BRT and an LRT. And it's a lot cheaper than an LRT, so it's perfect for the city. Street, Northeast, and a proposed, proposed maintenance station maintenance facility not station at 36th street southeast the part of the train that would connect to 80th avenue would be would be at grade then elevated then it would be at grade again it will then become a tunnel underneath the second longest runway in canada because i just i don't know the name of the runway then go elevated and have a sta station in the parking lot and would then go to the airport and have a station there. I think the city should expand the blue blue line to cross line mills because this is one of the biggest malls, best best and biggest malls in or around Calgary and near and near cross line mills there's an Amazon shipping warehouse. People lots of people work at that. You go to places where people work and want to go at Cross Iron Mills is a great place, and the problem with Cross Iron Mills is the public transportation. Sure, you could take a one of the Airdrie buses, but that bus, it's so... I've never seen anyone take that bus. I don't know anyone who takes it. And the Cross Iron Mills bus, I'm pretty sure that bus got discontinued or just doesn't run well. I'm not sure. I'll put a... I'll put information up on it on the screen if you want to find out more information about it. The estimated construction cost for the airport train people mover whatever would be a hundred thousand. Wow, that is relatively cheap. No, a hundred seventy-five thousand million something one seven five comma zero zero comma zero zero. I don't care if you bully me. Uh estimated annual cost seven million cheap. Estimated annual ridership three hundred and fifty thousand. Not bad. Probably more. Uh major chip 
trip generator, Calgary, Tra- Calgary International Airport, YYC Transit and Employees, Travelers and Employees, not Transit and Employees. Additional consideration, place of this development and redevelopment in Coda mix use density of population and employment and availability for capital project. Uh, back in 2000, when the thing was first being built or decided, whatever, the city had built it out. Uh, when, in 2014, 9, 2000, the city had built it out to be able to do it. Because the tunnel underneath, underneath the longest runway in Canada, there's a tunnel uh, airport trail. It is being built. It was built to be able to handle the... Uh, people mover, so two track people mover, which would probably be more on the left side of the road if you're going uh, west, like you're driving westwards. Which, yeah, blah blah blah. Uh, airport, I'm on the Wikipedia page right now looking for this. I don't care what happens, just let me get it like real quick. Line is going the from Tuscany to Sunset. It would operate in 2014. It was, was open, was not operated. In 1981, the original terminus, Anderson to 85 Street South, Street West. It's not Southwest. It's just West. In 1987, in 1987, it went north to University, and in 1995, the city expanded it to Brentwood. Then in 2003, to Fish Creek. Then expanded its current terminus at Somerset in 2018. They expanded it to Tuscany also. So yeah. It's, you kind of notice something. is the fact that the red line is more cared about. Where there's continuous expansion of the red line than there is with the blue line. It's, it's sad. It's annoying. The city has plans to expand the red line to the south end of it. They want to expand it to Silverado and to... 210th Avenue South. When the city first built the LRT, they will bu- they built it with an underground tunnel that goes that does not have any tracks or power lines to power the trains. It goes underneath City Hall Station. They said they were they said when the new arson is added, it won't be able to handle the load. They said it was supposed to start late to two thousand and nine. You can all, you can watch about it in this video that I'm putting on right now.
The capital cost for the underground tunnel would be around 800 million and the estimated operational cost, annual operation cost, would be 8 million. Estimated annual ridership, 40,000. No, 40 million because Kabul does not have that population. Okay. In 2005, they rehabbed the downtown core train stations, rebuilding them so they could handle four car trains, like I just said. So the stations had to move from their original, and some of them had to be closed so construction could happen. Each one of the city's train cars can handle 200 people, and the station has a capacity of four, so if we multiply that, we get 800 people able to move out. That cause. Guess what? You can boom. If they multiplied that by the number of station, which is forty-five, two hundred times forty-five cases, nine thousand are able to move. On the calculating, if the if the city was to add another car, another car train that would end the two hundred capacity, the city could get the red line down first. There are more people that take this route than the blue line. They would probably put it on the ground because it is a lot cheaper for the red line. Oh yeah, my math may be wrong, correct me in the comment section, but be nice about it. You know what, don't be nice about it. I'm an idiot. Woohoo, let's go. Future, the city does have plans to put it underneath using the tunnel, which is cool. And the blue line would still use the 7th Avenue walkway. I mean, tracks, whatever. In the video, it never happened. This video was uploaded in 2009. So, yeah. <laughs> the capital cost for the city expanding the red line, according to this chart paper I found online, to 210 Avenue would be 3.4 million. And the net annual cost would be 9.3 million. The length of it would be 3.5 kilometers, and and a very nice part of it is it would, which is very nice. A part of it, it should be very nice. But one of the problems is the city does not own the land, and oh no, I get it. A positive part of it is the fact that the city is probably just going to attach it to CP, CP Rail's uh, tracks because there's already room, so build it. That's what they did to make the Red Line south part of it so cheap is they used an existing corridor, built the, built the stations right along the tracks. Something I do wonder is one of the stations, I think it's 36th Street Station on the south, not 36th Street Station, but in the south, right before you get to Chinook Station, is one of the stations, it looks as if it's so, like, it was built in one minute. It was it was just like, hey, we need a station here. This is a long distance. We need a station right here. So it's like, okay, let's build this. The Like, the platforms are extremely smaller. Maybe it's the fact that I'm used to Grand Cathedral stations because I usually take the blue line for transit and the blue line's newer relatively so it's just like it's so small and it's it looks as if the city just like hey we need a station build it whatever we just give you a small here's your budget so small boom the capital cost for the boom line to stone gate is seven two three million and the net annual operation cost would be five point Seven million. If we wanted to extend it to Frost Island Mills, it would be around two hundred two hundred million to four hundred million. I don't know what the operating cost would be to Frost Island Mills. Uh, for the extension, uh, the annual cost would be capital co capital cost. That's just my opinion. If you think differently, put it down in the comment below. According to the information they gave, I'm just estimating. I think that's a pretty good estimate. It leaves a large range. The red, the green line. I almost said the red line, but he talked about that. The green line, yay. 
The green line will go from Seaton in the southeast to Shepherd in the north. It will be the longest LRT in the city of Calgary. It is going to be a low floor LRT, which is like a tram. The first stage of the green line will be complete in 2027 and in total will cost will be around will be around 4.9 to 5 point 4.3 to about 5.9 billion Ooh, that's expensive the green line was first planned in 1983 which is surprising and then two years later the red line was completed then in 1980 80, 87, they did a study and found that the Southeast communities would one day need an LR team. In 2010, the city predicted before before it hits a population of 1.2 million and the city, uh, before it hits a population of 1.25 million, it would need to build the Green Line. But currently, as of recording this video on December 29th, this is the same day I'm recording it, so... I just recorded a couple minutes back. It's still not built. Um, we're at a population of 1.6 million. So, damn, that just hurts. It just sounds me to see the fact that the city recognizes the fact that it needs to make this green line. But you can't completely blame it on the city. You can also put the blame on the UCP, United Conservative Party of Alberta. You can learn more about their opposition towards the Green Line on this Wikipedia page, which gives great information about it. Check it out. The Green Line will have 29 stations in total, and four of them will be in the downtown core, and they will be underground, which is good. I think the city will use four cars instead of three cars, just like the city does with the red and blue line. Oof. Just like the city did, but the red and blue line before the bad days. Fun fact, while the um, stampede was happening in July, when everyone was like, don't ha make it happen, the city actually ran four cars because the city knew many people would be coming on Calgary Transit because Calgary Transit is one of Calgary's biggest money makers. Beginning 2020, but because of the UCP party being the UCP party, Construction did not happen, and the city had to pause construction on to 2021. And finally, after the UCP gave the city the money and set to be complete in 2026 or 2027, I'm really finding confusing information about when it's set to begin. And like, 365 days is a big difference. So, um, if you can find it, please leave a comment, because like, the city of Calgary is a... Uh, Green Line page is saying 2026 and like the 4.3 billion dollar price range and the Wikipedia page and other sources are saying like 5 point something billion and like 2027 so it's just really confusing tell me when it is so I can narrow it down. The capital cost of the Green Line will be 4.7 to 5.9 billion it will be Alberta and Calgary's biggest infrastructure project which is a nifty little fact for you the airport people move is going to connect to 96th avenue north on the green line will be a part uh, will then connect to 96th street be using a tunnel then a trench and a station a bit past and and a station a bit past its its tunnel after that it becomes an elevated station on cp rails tracks for passenger train which we'll talk about later while it will become a trench and then a station after that and it will become accurate and goes elevated to go into the airport fact there is going to be a little part of it where it goes into the airport curves in a little part of it it's going to like connect with each other so when one of the trains is having problems it doesn't have to go go into the airport it can just go straight past or when the train needs to get to a start at the green at the 96th Street 96 Avenue, my bad. You know what makes me laugh is if another small city says that they want to build an LRT with the same price of the Green Line, like smaller than Calgary, like a million po a population of a million, or just under, says wants to build 
a green light, something, an LRT that's the same price as the green light, the first thought that would come to many people is corruption. Because, like, how could it not? Something that comes to so many people's minds in Calgary is, how is this thing costing so much? Why is it this expensive? Because, I th maybe it's the, uh, the tunnel that's going underground, because the rock... It's not really the greatest. I don't know, but please tell me why is the green line so goddamn expensive? It's annoying. When you compare it to other, the valley line in Edmonton, it's like 1.6 billion. Uh, I don't know. The city has plans to expand, expand the blue line to the north because of the, because of the new passenger rail. Which will have a stop near YYC on CP Rail's trust, which the passenger rail to Banff has a plan to start operation in 2025, which that only leaves the city a few years to get the people mover completed. Because one of the key things they were showing off is like a connection to the airport, so we can get on, so you can just get on your fly, go take the people mover, boom. Boom, right to the station, get on a, get to bath, get off, get, get on a bus, and then just ride to the mountain slope. That's one of the things they want. That's something they would. The train line company wants government Alberta to get back to them by February 2022. So they can know if it's go So if they can know if the government's going to give them some money. I think the government Alberta does. I think government Alberta needs to get back to them as soon as possible so they can start talking with the cities and with the CP rails and, how, and where the station is going to be, like the one in downtown Calgary and the one in Keith and the airport station. The airport people move is something they're going to have to focus on to build in the city if they want the airport station with other rail plan for the city, such as Prairie Link. Regional Rail for Alberta, those are the only other two, so, yeah. The city of Calgary has four BRT routes, and four MAX routes, perfectly balanced, as all things should be. The BRT routes are the 300 BRT airport city centre that goes from the, that goes from the airport, goes to the airport. The 301 BRT North Downtown. The 301 goes from North Point to City Center. The 302 BRT South East goes to South Health Campus. The 305 goes from Canada Olympic Park. The Max routes are the Max Yellow, Max Orange, Max Teal, and the Max Purple. The Max Yellow goes from Downtown Core to Wood Park. Wood Park Boulevard. The Max Orange goes from Sanitown Station to Brentwood Station. The Max Seal goes from Westbrook Station to Douglas Glen Station to the future Green Line Station. That's a future Green Line Station. The Max Purple goes from goes from downtown to East Hill. Yeah, it goes from downtown court to East Hill, and does have some, and sometimes does go to Chestermere. The city does have plans to make some new BRT routes. Sorry guys if I sound a little tired, I'm recording this at 12.18, it's kind of my fault, but yeah, I'm just a little tired. I, if I sound tired, it's supposed to be my fault, I've said this before, but yeah. The city does have plans to make some new Max BRT routes. Why did I say Max BRT? <laughs> some new Max routes. They are a route that goes from Somerset to 64th Station, Satterton to Seaton, Brentwood to 104th Avenue Northwest, and downtown to Canada Olympic Park, or COP. <laughs> oh, I remember the childhood names we call that place. 
I C U P. <laughs> Hot damn. Hi, Miss Elementary This Canada Olympic Park is currently operated by the BRT. By the BRT for the bonus, bonus BRT 305, which will most likely become the new Max Food and will be named the Max Pink. That's just my name. If I think the city will probably turn all the BRT routes into Max Food in the future, like far future, one state. Once they create all their planned max route, they're probably like, mm, what else can we turn into a max route? I say this because if you look at the last time a BRT route was created, it's been a long time, relatively long time, compared to when a max route was created, which is quite, just like three years ago. Three or two years when this video gets uploaded. If it can get uploaded in about a couple of hours? Two years, a couple of days, three years. <laughs> God. When I look at a fantasy, fantasy map for the C train, the one I like the most out of all the other maps is the one that expands the Calgary Transit into the metropolitan areas of the city. such as the Blue Line extension to Cross Iron Mills and the Red Line extension to Pine Valley. It also has a train that goes from Chestermere to, to Valley Ridge, which this one is currently operated by the Max Purple and the BRT, which will be the future Max Pink. When you look at the green line on this map, you can... You can... You can... Okay. <laughs> When you look at the green line on this map, you can see it's completely different from the current green line plans, which goes from Seaton to Keystone. When I look at the downtown core stations, in in the fact that the city hall and central station, the, there will be three trains running on the Seventh Avenue, which will be horrible for tr for the times. Like the tracks already bad enough but now having three trains or four if i'm right i don't have the map currently in front of me yeah. yep nope three i was right gotta trust your gut they'll have three stations on that place god damn it it will be horrible and the other places will also have wait let's see am i am i just an idiot on D toi cat I am an idiot. <laughs> okay, red line, blue line, green line, uh white line. Nope, I'm an idiot, it's four. We'll have four stations, four trains running on two stations? Jesus Christ, it will be horrible transit. And for the other downtown core places, it will be god awful. That's the thing, when you look at other maps in Canada, no other city connects their trans their two lines together. You or using the same tracks for very long, especially in the core, because they know, hey, this will break our core if we don't fix it. And I like the fact that the city recognizes it's a problem and I hope they change it and put the red line underground using that tunnel. In fact, that's what I would do if I was mayor. Vote for me in the next election. I'll make everything better for transit. Could care less about everything else. Whoop. And also, I thought that would make it even worse is it's not grid separated, so the amount of trains waiting. And the more trains you add, the more possible places for shiza to happen, for shit to go massively wrong. Let's say there's one idiot who decides, I can make this, I can make this in a super fast car, and he doesn't make it. And guess what? There's a train coming from Center Street. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no, no. <sighs> All transit in that area is shut down. Horrible. Just absolutely horrible. 
But the best, the thing I like most about this is the loop. I love the loop. And if you want to see why loops are so great, go watch I Am Trans because I'm not going to explain it here. I just love it because it's incredible. It's absolutely the best. So yeah, it has no stops, no ends. And yeah, the loop could be changed, so it could be not really operated. Like, it could be changed because, um, the max yellow and teal operate on some of the stations, but let's find the way it is. And it goes underneath the Glambo Reservoir, we could always tunnel through it, which it would have to be very, very, because that's where all of Calgary gets its drinking water, and no one wants anything messing with drinking water. Am I right? Am I right, people? Another fantasy fantasy map I like is the City of Calgary 2040 map that I found on Reddit. <laughs> Reddit. It has seven lines, which the red line branches off to the left side, like this map, and it has a loop. I would say a loop. Like, I say because most cities around, I like, one of the things I like most is loops. I think more cities around the world should get loop lines because they are incredible. Go watch RM Transit for why loops are great. Tell them I sent you over. Tell them Transit Times sent you over. He probably doesn't know me. <laughs> this has been my fantasy map of Calgary Transit. It is made up of different forms of tra fantasy maps out there. Um, the City of Calgary fan Calgary Sea Train map. Where I found this map with the circular route on was on this one, Sky Place 2015. Not 2015, like it was posted 2015. Still holds up to this day. Just a few inaccuracy. And City of Calgary uh, 2040 map. You can you can check out all the fantasy maps and future plans all down below. All the things I've talked about down below. It's incredible. Please support the channel. Support everything in whatever way you can. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. You are wonderful. You are incredible. Goodbye.